Hello everyone, Charmin Sin here, and today I'm showing you Linus by CISOFI. Now, Linus is a server auditing tool um, that has a free version and a paid for version and uh, runs on Linux operating systems. Now, this tool is pretty cool. Now, um, it also it does security auditing and compliance auditing, um, which is really useful if you're in a business environment and if you're just uh, if you're just running just even a blog, this tool was definitely useful. Now, uh, let's get started. Now, I've already run a scan in which uh, I'll show you. We'll go through it again because uh, the first scan I ran was on the paid for version. So I can show you the paid for um, output. And now we'll do a free, uh, the free version so you can see both. Now, um, to install this application, it's pretty simple. Uh, just on the CISOFI website, just click get started and um, you can download the tar and just extract it. You can do it through uh, just sudo apt-get install Linus or you can uh, clone it via GitHub. Okay, so there are a lot of options on how to install it. And now in order to run the tool, it's pretty simple. Uh, to run the tool, you will do just uh, you go into the directory where you've installed it and just do dot slash Linus. And then you'll say audit system. And then I do quick. Now, what quick means is that you don't really have to interact with the scanner during its scan. Now, let's talk about my test bed. This is a uh, virgin install of Debian and uh, with some with some uh, patches there's no real hardening of the operating system that I've done and so let's see what Linus finds on a default install of Debian okay so once you run the tool um, it'll start popping up uh, where what it's checking now as, as a side note I'm running this as root because it's a brand new install um, if you're running this in user mode you will want to run it as root or in sudo that way uh, the tool has access to the entire system during its scan uh, if you don't run it as root um, then it may not have a it may not have access to certain parts of the system and so the scan won't work or it'll just skip it now after the checks have been done it will show you um, it will show you some uh, suggestions so for instance like one set a password on grub bootloader now again some of these options uh, and some of these suggestions are um, are best practices like if you're running a virtual private server you may not set a password on your grub bootloader you may not even have access to the grub bootloader um, but if this is a physical environment, yes, you would want to do something like that. Now, um, let's get started here. Uh, so I'll show you what you can do with this information. Now with this information on the free version, you will not be able to use like the URLs here. They're on CISO 5's website and these are for paid for the paid for version. Now you could take the information, of course, and you know how to set a password on the Grub bootloader. You sh I'm sure you'll be able to find that either with your own knowledge or resources. But with these, with this tool, the pricing is really it, it's it's pretty cheap. Um, now it's I believe it's something like three dollars for the premium version per server, and I believe it's a five server uh, three dollars per month just to make sure uh, per server and I believe you gotta buy five minimum which for a business that's not bad at all because I'll show you the I'll show you the paid for version and why that's worth it now um, uh, so that's pretty much the end of the uh, free scan uh, so pretty much it has audited the operating system and given you some pointers on where there is some security holes and some security best practices. Now, um, for the paid for version, once you have the paid for version, you have access to the dashboard. And now with the dashboard, you can click on systems and you'll see, for instance, that um, 
you know, the scan that I did, I only have one system that I'm, I've been scanning here. Um, when you click, when you click on the system, it'll show you certain things like the operating system, its version, um, the domain name of uh, the network it's on. It'll say, it'll say, for instance, hey, there's no firewall active on here. Um, it'll put like a, a risk index um, here. Okay, and now this is where the compliance part comes in. So now here it says in compliance, but I haven't really set a compliance, um, a, anything for it to say no to. So what you can do is there's actually some, uh, some compliance things for if you have to follow HIPAA, uh, you can load the HIPAA module and it'll tell you if you're in compliance with HIPAA. So that's really cool. I'll show you something that's even better is um, once we go scroll down your list for this particular system, you'll see the recommendations that I gave here. So like for instance, uh, enable process accounting. Now this is the, this is the part that really uh, got me hooked on this tool is that I can actually click solve right next to the suggestion and it'll tell you why you should be doing this and then it gives you the commands on how to fix that certain issue and enable let's say process accounting now you can see how much time that would save uh, save you on how on now uh, uh, on hardening your operating system really really cool um, you have things like reporting uh, if you click on configuration, this is the part where I say like the module. So for instance, compliance. Okay. If you uh, click on compliance, you can load uh, HIPAA or, um, you know, ISO 27001. Okay. So this is definitely, this is definitely a, uh, a cool feature of this tool. Now, uh, this, the the dashboard has three different levels so you have a dashboard and this pretty much tells you hey there's no events and you have one system in compliance uh the operation aspect will just say hey there's a server no events and then there's a from a business aspect so like the management team will say oh, okay uh we have all of our systems are are in compliance so that's really cool another thing that's cool about this is when you click software you can see all the software that's installed on the on the server and it's here in alphabetical order so if i click for instance s okay i expect to see sudo okay and it'll tell you the version of each application so again this is really a really cool tool really robust and this is just the tip of the iceberg um like i said this tool is capable of doing other things uh, I would definitely recommend reading the the man pages, and of course there are there is the documentation available on the CISO5 website. Um, I believe you just click on support, and um, it's there. Now, if you have any questions or comments about uh, this video, just leave them in the comment section below. And of course, you can visit my website shamanseen.com. You can email me shamanseen2010 at gmail.com. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.